Hey y'all, it's Joni and Jenny B, and we are here with the queen of Southern style, beautiful Miss Paula Dean. So we're just hanging out with her today and gonna talk about some Southern style. So tell us about Paula Dean's family kitchen. How did it come about? Oh my goodness, it came about, I guess, three or four years ago. Uh, a man approached me, who uh, now is my CEO, he uh, wanted me to come to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, where he had developed this property called The Island. And I said, okay, we can talk about that. I said, but if I come, I, would, I want to do it really family style. I want to be able to uh, jog people's memory about when their little feet were under their mama or their grandmother's table. Uh, when you felt so safe and the food was so good mm -hmm. and the table was full of mismatched bowls. Mm -hmm. uh, our bowls do match here, yes, but <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to, to uh, stir that kind of memory in people, bringing them back to their roots mm -hmm. because my style of food was served to families all over this United States. May be cooked a little different, mm -hmm. but the same kind of food that has made so many memories with people. Define Southern hospitality in your own words. Southern hospitality to me is, well, there's several different legs to that. Uh, it's treating people kindly, which was a lesson that I was taught at a very young age. Um, you speak to people when you come into a room. Uh, you stand up when a lady leaves a table. Now I'm teaching my sons this. Uh, and a firm handshake, look in the eye. Uh, and to make your company feel like family and your family like company. Uh, and it'll work every time. You won't ever be lonely. There'll always be people that want to be around that kind of person. That's right, that's right. And then I think ever since um, I knew who Paula Dean was, I felt that. I felt even though you didn't know me, I felt a part of your family. Like when we would be in your kitchen cooking and your beautiful home there. Um, anytime I saw you sharing a recipe, I thought that. I was just like, yeah, she's, she's, my, she's my aunt. She doesn't know it, but she's my aunt. I've had so <laughs> many people come up to me and say, uh, I lost my mother and you have been my, my, my TV mama uh, or my TV grandmama. Uh, and you know, to me that's mission accomplished because I, I wanted people to feel good about spending that 30 minutes with me or an hour that uh, they didn't waste their time. Never was. It was, it's <laughs> always a pleasure. And, then, and how do you inject that hospitality and that style into your food? Uh, well, in Southern cooking, to me, uh, the num and it sounds corny and cliche, but a lot of love goes into Southern cooking uh, because it takes time. You know, it's not like going to an Italian restaurant where they throw some pasta in a pot of boiling water and uh, put a little garlic butter on it, you know. And I know there's many more, ext more extensive dishes uh, in Italian restaurants, but uh, like our pot roast, it takes hours to cook. Our squash casserole, our mashed potatoes, you just don't walk in and create that in five minutes. So in order to put the time in it, you gotta love it. You gotta love what you're doing. So the number one ingredient is love, even though that is corny and cliche. When we ate in the one in Destin, 
the first time when it opened. I tell you, when I ate that corn, oh, I felt love and warm and fuzzies and oh, everything. Back green corn, we don't use anything but Silver Queen. And it makes the best cream corn, honey. I mean, oh. I could have bathed in it. It was so and good. Our mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everything's divine. So, but I mean, I remember that corn, and I was just because I'm not really a corn eater. Uh -huh. But oh my goodness, I couldn't stop eating it. I was I like know. pushing everybody else away from it. It's my corn. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll refill those bowls for you. <laughs> and the hips could tell the truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. For you are so being, welcome. Being you. You are so yourself. welcome. And thank y'all for um, coming in and welcoming me and uh, caring enough to come do this. Oh, it's it's our pleasure and our honor. Yes. Thank you, so Joni. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.